All right, guys, let's select this face and create a sketch. Now let's use the two point rectangle to start the rectangle to end at the center line. And let's duplicate this rectangle and paste it down here. And we'll just use the create mirror function so we can mirror these two rectangles to the opposite side. Now that's done, we'll select all four of these rectangles and we'll press pull these. And let's also go to the side view so we can reference this a bit better. Let's just grab this arrow and let's bring it into about here. And ensure the operation is set to cut. And once you set a file, hit OK. Now we can select this face and create a sketch. And this should be more familiar to you guys. I'm sorry I haven't posted it forever, but <laughs> I'm back on schedule, guys. And we'll just copy this reference here. I got some cool tutorials coming up, guys, in the future. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this one. So we're going to be moving a lot quicker in the next ones because you guys are uh, going to be getting a bit more familiar with the methods. So let's just grab this line. Now let's select all of these uh, rectangular areas and we'll just press pull this. And we're also going to mirror this on the other side. So let's see if you guys can remember how to do that. So first we're gonna pull this in just a little bit and change it from cut to new body. Now let's just mirror this. Don't forget to select the plane, just hold the left mouse button till you see it. Now let's combine the first body with these two bodies we created and we're going to cut. Now let's select this face and let's just follow the sketch. And that's pretty much all we're going to be doing for this entire body. And just to mention guys, we're almost done with this. I know we've been working on this uh, body for quite a while, but we're almost done. So we have one more video after that. I mean, after this video, which isn't even the body is, um, it's just a frame that wraps around the body. So let's just press pull this shape and change the operation from join to new body and we're just going to mirror this to the other side. Create mirror, grab that body. Let's select the plane, left click hold. Now let's combine these together. Set it to join. Now let's select this and let's just create a sketch. Notice the areas that I'm doing. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. So I'm, I'm, I'm sketching everything to a center point so I can revolve. And at any point, if this is going too fast, you guys can always just go back and play it at a slower speed. But I simplified the sketch and that's all I'm doing here. And I'll just use the, the, the trim icon to trim these off. Now I'll revolve this center piece here. Change it from cut to new body. I'm gonna turn back on that sketch and I'm just gonna ex extrude this area. So I'm just gonna press pull this and we're gonna press pull it to the end of this reference here. So it's a new body. Now we're gonna fillet these two corners. So hit F on the keyboard and we're just gonna select these edges. Now we can reference the image. There you go. Now what I like to do is duplicate this. So I'm going to go back to that body we just created and we'll copy paste it and slide it over to match the reference. Now we'll just revolve this center piece here. We're going to mirror this piece over. So select this space here and set press OK. Now we're also going to slide back this piece. So it intersects. And we're gonna let's just pull this out. So let's select all these bodies here. And let's just move this a bit further back. Now I want to copy these two side pieces. Actually, I'll copy all three of these and we'll just duplicate this down to the bottom. Now let's combine these, uh, all these bodies together. Well, let's pull this down because I see it's not intersecting. 
now what we'll do is just combine all these pieces together. But don't combine it with the body, just combine all these new bodies. Now we're gonna mirror this to the opposite side. Now we combine these pieces to the body. There you go.